What's up? How are you guys this week? I have spent every waking moment for the past few weeks either working or in the sun. So both my brain and skin are completely fried, scorched, however you'd like to call it. And since we are moving towards the end of July, the moving sale is still on, guys. So we brought back the 15% off orders over 500. Additionally, the two big things this week are chicken being back in stock. And we're also running a beef glandular sale. So all of the beef glands, the testicles, ovaries, adrenal, thyroid, prostate, 25% off. So we have a review for the glandular organs. I'm like sitting here in my car reading this. It's too funny for me not to, to tell you guys this week. Sophie updated her review for the product, Beef Ovaries Female Fertility. Bob Growth. This is so cool. I have heard of powdered supplement ovaries for Bob's growth, but this is the real thing. I have small Asian Bob and my Bob are actually growing. Please never stop selling these. It says my BF's name. I don't know how to change it. Sorry. <laughs> so uh, one of our lovely young female customers has experienced some uh, testicular growth taking the ovaries. Uh, don't let, oh, this guy's about to kill me in his truck. Um, don't, don't, let the, uh, don't let all the girls find out. They'll start downing these every day, you know? The ladies, it, it's crazy, it's crazy. It's Memorial Day week and we're absolutely crushed. Like I don't think we've ever been this busy and that's because Memorial Day fell on a Monday so we're trying to get all the orders out this week hopefully so guys definitely be a little patient uh, on both the, the meat orders, the egg orders, the foods, everything. We're trying to get everything out by, uh, by Wednesday, Thursday. And the fresh beef is also coming tomorrow. That's why we're really crushed. So not only do we have like a lot of orders that we're all trying to send out on Tuesday, the fresh beef is coming tomorrow, which we had like 50 orders for. So we'll try our best to get everything out this week, but I'd rather wait till next Monday if we have to, just so no one gets the orders delayed. Uh, but let me show you guys what's going on. I was supposed to be laying out in the park because it is a beautiful, perfect day to tan. It's like 65 degrees and sunny. Instead, I did all the post office orders we got everything here guys for organ supplements wi-fi shielding frankie's naturals giga chad gum so that's going out today my guys have been hard at work doing all of the meat orders this morning uh we got most of the three day and express orders out today so you guys should be getting everything also some of you may have been missing the biltong is back uh, so we have the spice biltong we have the plain biltong and we have some new beef sticks these are the new beef sticks. Uh, this is my favorite flavor that that company makes. So frankiesterinefoods.com if you guys wanna try that. Yeah, so as usual, I'm trying to get you guys like new and exciting health products every week. We're gonna have a new salt uh, in the next week or two. Uh, we should also be doing like new packaging on the Flextrose and whey protein. And I also have some ideas for some other stuff, but with the move and everything, I'm trying to get it done <laughs> without losing my mind completely. So we're gonna hop in the freezer and show you guys what's new. We did restock the Organ Grind 95.5 Lean Blend and Best Burger Blend this week, if you guys have been waiting for that. Oh, another big restock is the Iberico Pork Bacon. We've been sold out of this for like two or three months, I think, but we finally got the bacon back in stock. Venison shoulder is back in stock, one pound portions. I think this is the most affordable venison cut we have. Yeah, we got the beef testicles and all the other glands, guys, on sale, 25% off. Probably not gonna happen again, to be honest. So here we have all the chicken stuff. We got the chicken thighs, drumstick. Uh, this is the name of the Amish farm. We have the chicken breast. These are some organs, I think. We got some chicken heads here. There's some chicken hearts. Of course, the whole chickens are back in stock too. More organs here, livers. And uh, that's actually the stuff we're gonna use for the chicken stock. So we should have the chicken stock available soon as well. Uh, yeah, my guys are also making collagen broth you guys have been ordering a lot of this we're selling out every week so be sure to grab some veal liver restock too uh, we should be getting some veal brains in this week also for the chicken completely new product we have chicken skins uh, so the farmer had some extra corn and soy free uh, chickens from another farmer so he was able to give us the skins because they wanted like skinless breasts and we also got the pork tenderloin back in stock i forgot where my guys put it but uh, that was another thing we were missing for a few months and that's my favorite cut probably. I've been having that pork tenderloin for like the past three days because I missed it so much. Uh, the Iberico pork tenderloin definitely one of the highest quality meats you can ever have but it, a little on the expensive side. Uh, very unique though and nice to have such a lean cut of meat with such a 
in-depth flavor. We did have time to make the vanilla bars this week. Now we actually got all of the bars back in stock besides the quinoa crisp, which are probably my favorite. So we're gonna try to get those in this week. Also, uh, I think we might only have the white chocolate chip bars instead of the dark chocolate. Or no, other way around. One of them is missing. So uh, we're gonna try to make the rest of them this week for you guys. Uh, so in the fridge, we have a decent amount of water kefir for you guys, farm fresh dairy products, and the eggs are gonna go out this week. I think uh, we have a lot of extra sheet milk, so I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Um, this is only good for about another week and you guys haven't been really buying it, so we'll see. At the end of the day, guys, these Amish farmers want too much money for their product. You know, I, I, at some point in the future, I'm just going to have to get my own farm and do it myself because I'm not able to get the price point low enough to really like build up the dairy customer base. People would rather just go local or have it delivered uh, locally to them. So we'll have to figure that out. It's, you know. Are they taking a little too much money? Eh, you know, you know, they're working like individually on their own. So it's like one or two farmers. They don't have the conventional machinery. They don't have any of this. So if I was to run my own farm and use modern technology, the cost would be way, way, way better. And I'd actually be able to, to give you guys a good product. So, you know, there's pros and cons to everything. Uh, we wandered downstairs. Organ supplements, same old stuff, guys. We haven't had any new products. We still have like the full mineral line, all the vitamin and, and packages and that type of stuff. If you want to check out the website, Giga Chad Gum was uh, the thing we just launched a few weeks ago. If you guys missed that video, Frankie's Naturals, we might have some stuff coming that's new, but it's not going to be for at least a few months. Uh, same with the Wi-Fi shielding stuff. We did run out of like the bed canopies and some things on Wi-Fi shielding that we should be able to get back uh, in another month or two as well. Yeah, so a lot of restocks this week, guys, as usual. The dairy, the eggs, all coming in fresh tomorrow, as well as the fresh beef, if you guys have been waiting for that. And uh, we have the moving sale, we have the glandular sale, chicken restock, so decent amount going on. Uh, some products back if you guys would want them. Uh, so be sure to check out frankdestafana.com to see all of my interesting businesses, especially Frankie Strange Meat and Frankie Strange Foods, as well as the other stuff I mentioned. But if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell, and I'll see you guys soon. I don't know what I have to do to get you guys to watch my vlogs more. Actually, I do. I need to get some, like, completely beautiful, like, Russian girl or something and just put her in the thumbnail every time. That'll get you... I think that'll get me another 1,000 or 2,000 views every week I post a vlog. I think that'll work. That's the game plan. We're in the Bronx, though, so maybe it's going to have to be a Dominican girl instead of a Russian girl. Thank you.